back to the sawmill guys. Thursday, June 13th. It's been a little while since we posted a video. So I've been working in here in the shop for the most part of the week, just trying to get this thing organized. I had tools scattered everywhere. And I'm finally making some headway and getting stuff where I want. Got a lot left to do though. There's stuff everywhere here in the floor still. So this wall right here is pretty much complete. I've got my clamps hung up on there on both sides. Those little holders are handy right there. I got those from Rockler. You can get them for bar clamps and for pipe clamps. Got my little wood miser banner right there above it. Had that for a while. And I uh, got my fest tools over here on the floor. I'm still working on my little organizer here. These are one of the best things I've ever had. I got this on Craigslist for about $20 back in the fall. And it's just an old metal car catalog. It probably came out of a library or a school or who knows. I mean, they're heavy duty. They're made out of metal. All these little dividers in here, super handy. If you can pick one of these up or see them on Craigslist or Facebook, I would advise to grab it because I'm telling you, it's a big difference maker here on organizing stuff. Got this wall done over here as well. Got the pipe clamps over there, shop apron, Johnny Cash picture. Got to have a Johnny Cash picture in your shop. Fist tool tracks, and uh, of course you got the spray foam up there above it. That's had time to really settle in here. Made a huge difference on the temperature as much as it has the noise. When it rained in here, it was extremely loud. It quietened that down a whole lot. And I was really amazed at how cooler it is in here now. So over here in the middle of the shop, look over the mess, I'm still putting things away. I think I got the planer where I want to put it at. It's right here in the middle. Got the dust collection right beside it. Got my grizzly jointer right there in front of it. Got all my moisture meters right there. Got a brand new moisture meter yesterday from Wagner. The Orion 950. As soon as I get that thing figured out, we'll do a video on that here probably the next few days. So what we're doing here today, pretty short video. I'm just gonna finish up that chestnut log. It's been on the mill for way too long. I think I'll get three more slabs out of it and it will be done. Got two white oak right behind it, and I'll be milling those into six by sixes. And they're gonna be, uh, how would I say it? Kind of like a log ramp, but on the ground. I'm gonna put both those on the ground, they're 10 footers. And I'll probably treat those with that Shoshuji bond method. And I'm butchering the way you say that, I'm sure. That's when you burn the wood and you go back and scrape it off. And the white oak will last a long time on the ground, but if you do that method right there, it should last even longer. They're 10 feet long and they should make for some nice log ramps coming into where the sawmill is. So let's get the 40 cranked up because I've not sawed in who knows how long. It's been about to drive me crazy having this brand new sawmill sitting over there. It's only got five hours on it. So let's get that thing warmed up and get this chestnut done, start on that white oak. And I may cut some stickers if time allows. It's about 3.30 right now. See what we can get done.
walnut it's my favorite will always be my favorite but this Chinese chestnut might come in second this is some fantastic stuff the widest point 30 inches I think if I remember right six feet long nine quarter on the thickness two and a quarter inches thick got some voids in this one right over here Right here in the middle, a little bit of a potsy right there, and I'd clear that right up. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. 